Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Brickloaf, and today we're going to be reviewing the Winnie the Pooh Ideas set from LEGO. Now this was released on April 1st of 2021, and it sells on average for about $99.99. This is considered an 18 and up build because it can be a display set or a play set, but most often something this complex is going to be more of a display set, and it does come with some really cool figures as well. Our main reason in buying this was that it does resemble something that you would find in a medieval area, so we do want to incorporate this in our medieval section of our LEGO town at some point. And so, whether we rebrickable it or whether we just keep it the way it is, we will do that. And we just wanted the figures because they are unique, the prints, the molds, and we wanted to have them in our collection. So the first things we're going to look at are this little sign and the characters. You've got this 100 acre wood sign which uses two stickers to make a little signpost and they've got a little honey jar right outside the front. The characters here are the classic Winnie the Pooh characters and they're all unique to this set except for keychains and I think a few legs maybe in other figures but everything else, the head molds, the prints on the figures, they're all unique to this set. You've got Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Rabbit, Piglet, and Eeyore. Something that's interesting about this set is that the figures are fairly basic in terms of color and printing. You can see on Piglet, Rabbit, and you can see it on Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh. There's not a whole lot of printing going on. They're pretty much the color of the piece, which is a few little details printed on top of it. Like Rabbit, you can see the white fur. On Winnie the Pooh, you can see the red shirt is printed on that yellow piece. I also like how each character has their own thing. So Piglet has a scarf, Rabbit has a carrot, Winnie the Pooh has a balloon, and Tigger's got a little sack thrown over his shoulder. He also uses one of the minifigure tail pieces. This time it's printed though to match the rest of his stripes, which is pretty awesome. I wouldn't have expected them to have printed the tail, but I like that they did it to match the rest of the character. Now the actual set has a lot of cool details. You've got a campfire out front with a log that has room for a character to sit on, some honey jars behind there, and behind these mushrooms, you can see a little Winnie the Pooh storybook here. And it's got a printing on the inside tile, just like the book. And inside of the flap, you've got a little signature there. I really love these bushes on the front, how they use that clear piece to poke through some leaf pieces. But they also use these cornered pieces to form this hedge against the tree. I think that's a really cool little build there. The door here is built and it's got a little knocker on it. You can push it in and see the inside and you've got these stickers around the door. I like how different this tree is from the Lego Ideas tree so it's a lot smoother. You can see it uses these cornered pieces. There's a little beehive up there where the bees can spin around underneath it. I also like how they took the pieces that have been used for coral in the past and turned them green and put leaves on them to make the leaves of the tree. I think this is a really cool way of filling it out instead of using you know just the standard uh, flimsy little Lego leaves. I do like the details that they put on the side as well. If you turn the set, you can see a little build of a snail using the new shell piece. And you can see there's a little flower pot outside the window. And the roof tiles are all different colors. I really like how they did the roof tiles using the wedge pieces. It's pretty much the same on the back. You've got this cool corner to the roof and you've got the same you know, window style and little flower box under the window. You've got the chimney coming out at an angle. And on the other side, it's pretty much the same as the opposite one. You've got the flower box under the window and the same style windows and everything else. Now to look at the interior, all you have to do is flip it to the back and you can split the two edges of the house open to look inside. On the left side, you've got this stove with the little chimney going all the way up. There's a box with the sticker labeled poo sticks on the top in the attic. There's some built curtains with a honey jar and a coffee cup on the table. And then next to that is a picture frame of bees and a chair with a little print on the back of it. At the entrance of the house, you've obviously got inside the door, you've got a little map of the 100 acre wood. You've got a side table with a teapot and a teacup. And on the right side, there is a little umbrella stand using one of the two pieces. And similar to how you have the mirror in the Harry Potter set, in the bathroom, there is a mirror here where they use an actual sticker. On the right side, you've got more stuff in the attic. It's just honey jars. You've got a cuckoo clock, a little side table with a candle on it in the end, and a bed with the same brick built curtains as on the opposite side. Now, what holds the set closed are these two little clip pieces. They don't snap together. You can easily pull them apart and push them together, which I really like. And that is the Winnie the Pooh Lego Ideas set. Let me know what you think about this set down below if you plan to get it or if you already have it. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more.